Welcome to Hedgehog Hollow. Today I have a review of the new Waffle Flower heat resistant work mat. Now you may have seen this at Creativation. Uh, Nina revealed this, it, she was part of the Stamp Village and if you missed our Stamp Village tour, you can check that out in that top right hand corner. It was a really fun tour, but this is a really cool little mat. And I wanted to show it to you because I think it's great whether you're starting out as a YouTuber or a blogger, or perhaps you are just a home crafter. I think it's perfect for everyone. It's silicone and it's a food grade silicone. So maybe you do icing tutorials and you paint on your cookies. Um, perhaps you're just a crafter. It's suitable for all sorts of things. It's heat resistant, it's made of silicone and it's non-stick and it's flexible. So it's really easy to kind of fold up and store. I've had mine rolled up and stored like this for a while and you can see it doesn't have any creases or bends or any of those things in it. So I think that's really great too. So you could just roll it up and if you have a small craft area, you could roll it up, pop it in a rust cog or something like that and you could store it really easily. So the other thing is it's non-reflective. So if you want to film tutorials and things on it, you all know I normally film on my Tim Holtz glass mat, but some of you have struggled with filming tutorials on that. So if you are a YouTuber, or you do it on Instagram or any of those things, you can film on this, it's non-reflective. It's also a 16 by nine um, sized mat. So if you do tutorials and things again, it has these little grooves in it and it has a center point for you to film tutorials. So they have thought about people who want to do YouTube tutorials or Instagram, um, or you can do the Instagram TV. Of course, you can just turn it the other way up. And there's markings along the edge to help you line it up with your um, phone and those kinds of things. So they're the kind of practical things if you want to film tutorials. So what else do we have? We have a nice big working area in here. So it can take a full sheet of cardstock in there. And then as I say, it's heat resistant. So you can add your heat tool in here. You can do your heat embossing and you're gonna be absolutely fine. And then this is really nice. This is your palette area, but the palette area is dipped. You actually can put uh, water in here, which we're going to do and it's completely dipped in, nothing's gonna come out the edge there. But there's some really cool techniques, and I was watching um, Shannon do a tutorial the other day, and I thought we would try this out because it was super cool. She took a stamp, so you can take any stamp. I've got here the Gerda Steiner Turtley Great, and I thought I would use this one because it's been sitting in my stash a little while. So she took a stamp like this, and I'm gonna use my Gina K Amalgam Ink. So I'm just gonna ink up my stamp like this. And you can use this surface for mirror stamping. So this was a really neat idea she had. She just stamped directly onto her mat like this and she grabbed her cardstock and she then just popped her cardstock over the top, rubbed it on and then she had her turtle, which meant that she could then re-ink up her stamp like this. line it up and she could have two turtles. So you could do mirror stamping. You could of course do your turtle this way and he could be looking into the reflection of a pond. So you can do some really cool techniques. You don't need a special mirror stamp or anything anymore. You can just use this silicone mat. And I thought that was a really neat idea that Shannon showed. So it was just a cool technique. And um, so I must give her credit for coming up with that. Um, but just a cool technique that you can do using this. And then I just, um, you can just rub this off using a little bit of stamp cleaner. I'm just gonna gra grab to grab that off the middle shelf up there. Um, you can just grab your stamp cleaner and you can wipe it off. So you can use isopropyl alcohol stamp cleaner. You can see there though, this is just my Nouveau stamp cleaner on my tidy towel and then it rubs straight off. So super simple and off we go again. But then if I want to create on here, this is a really nice surface. I can do my ink smushing techniques on here with my distress inks. Or the reason that I really grabbed these, these are my pink fresh water colors. They do now come in different bottles because they had some issues with these particular bottles. Um, but I really did like these bottles when they came in these, is that you can put drops of your liquid watercolor in here. And I'm just going to pop some in the side here. So let's pick some up in our, like this. And because they are dipped like this, we can then grab our water brush. And if you want a top tip for filling up your water brush, no more kind of squirting water all over you, just take your water brush, take your light mist bottle, 
add some squirts of water in and that's the perfect way to fill it up and you're no longer going to get covered in water because you, probably if you're anything like me you've been covered in water enough times you can just squirt some water out this one's a little bit dirty so I'm going to squeeze just to clean my brush and then you can see here so you can see that I have a nice dipped edge I can't go outside of that and then I can come on here I can pick up some water I can squeeze out and mix on here if I wanted to I could mix a custom color so I could grab a little bit of both and create my own custom color so I really like how this has this nice custom area too so I really like these dipped in areas it means that if I have a Tilly who comes along and knocks everything flying, which is quite a regular occurrence, these are dipped. My ink's not gonna go everywhere. This area that I'm working on is also dipped. There is a ridge here, so my cardstock would go to the edge. Of course, you can tape things down. I can grab my distress inks, I can put them down and I can do my smushing. I could also grab some liquid watercolor. And I, you can ink smush with liquid watercolor. You don't have to just do it with your, um, dye inks so you can put drops of color down in the same way you can do it with any medium so just because we're used to doing it with our distress inks and yes we get some beautiful shades um, I have a video using um, distress oxide sprays for ink smushing over at scrapbook.com you can really use any medium and then you can just spray in the same way that little bit of water kind of helps give you some movement but then you can take a piece of watercolor paper and I'm using the Craft Perfect from Tonic watercolor paper, but you see how I start to get that movement and some really pretty backgrounds going on. And then I can start picking up colors. Again, I can spray. Of course, the more water you add, the lighter those techniques. Spray your paper, you'll get different movement because watercolor only moves where water is. But you can see that you can start to pick up and get some real vibrancy to your backgrounds. So I'm just gonna pick up over here. But again, just some really pretty effects you can get on there. So tons and tons of things you can do on this. I really like the fact they've made it non-reflective. So if you want to start out, and I know lots of you have emailed us kind of asking for ideas and advice of getting started with filming on YouTube and things. I think this is a really great surface to do that. And it's white, so it's really easy to work on. It's easy to clear up being silicone. You can just pop it in the sink run it underwater, clean it with isopropyl alcohol, all of those kinds of things. Clean it with your stamp cleaner. I think the mirror stamping on it is super cool too. Uh, thanks so much Shannon for showing us that technique. I thought that was awesome. Um, you can go over to the Waffle Flower uh, YouTube channel for more information on how she did that. She has tons of ideas there. Um, I like the dipped palette area in it. And as I say, I really like the fact you can just roll it up because the glass mat does take some storage space. I love my glass mat, I will use it tons. I still love my glass mat, but I just like the fact you can use this in a small space. So I hope you enjoyed today's review. If you want to grab yourself a waffle flower silicone mat, check out the links in the video description. They are all there for you and everything I used in today's video will be linked up there for you too. Plus information on how to become a Channel Perks member and save on all of your crafty purchases at our favorite stores and how to save yourself some money on those purchases. All of that information is there. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for all of our daily tips, tricks, tutorials and so much more. If you would like to see a video here at Hedgehog Hollow, whether it's a tip, a trick, tutorial, review or anything else, leave us a comment below. We would love to hear from you. And if you enjoyed today's video, give us a thumbs up and I will see you again tomorrow. Happy stamping, everyone. Bye.